So this question says the expression, all of this times that, is equivalent to a x to the b power, where a and b are positive constants and x is greater than 1. What is the value of a plus b? So let's make sure we keep in mind what we're actually trying to find. So this is definitely going to be a simplify question. And there's quite a bit to simplify here, so let's get started. Whenever I have compound things under a radical, like what we have here, 3 to the 5th and x to the 45th, I like to write them as separate so we can clearly see how they're being simplified. So I'm going to keep my 6, and then I'm going to have my 5th root of 3 to the 5th separated from the 5th root of x to the 45th. And I'm going to have my 8th root of 2 to the 8th separated from my eighth root of x alone. So each of these things can be simplified. Um, well, not each of them. Six will just stay six. The fifth root of three to the fifth power is just three. Anytime you have a power and a radical that match, they just cross out. Um, my, x, my fifth root of x to the 45th, um, actually, I just look at how many times does five go into 45? That's nine times which makes this going to be an x to the ninth power. Again, 8 eighth root and 8 power, so that's going to just be a times 2, right? The eighth root of 2 to the eighth is just 2. And then I cannot reduce this one, so I'm going to keep it as the eighth root of x. So let's simplify all of this. I have 6 times 3, which is 18, times 2, which is 36. I have 36. My x to the ninth comes down. And I still have this eighth root x. Now, I want this format, a, x to the b. It looks like I have my a taken care of, but my x value and my b value are not so certain. So I'm going to take this x to the ninth times the eighth root of x. I'm going to convert this one back, or I'm going to convert a, the eighth root of x into a fractional exponent, which makes this become x to the ninth times x to the 1 eighth, right? The 1 eighth power is the same as the eighth root. And then I'm going to use some exponent rules here, which say when I multiply two of the same base with different exponents, or it doesn't really matter if the exponents are same or not, I add the exponents together. So this is going to become x to the 9 plus 1 eighth. In order to add 9 plus 1 eighth, I need to have a common denominator. So this becomes 9 over 1 plus 1 over 8. I need to have an 8 denominator, so I'm going to multiply by 8 on bottom and on top. So this turns into x to the 72 over 8 plus 1 over 8, which is simply x to the 73 over 8. So putting everything together, I have 36x to the 73 over 8 power, in which case my a value is 36, and my b value is 73 over 8. The question asks for a plus b, so I'm going to add that together now. So 36 plus 73 over 8. Again, I need to have common denominator, so I'm going to treat this like a 36 over 1. I'm going to multiply top and bottom by 8. This leads to 288 over 8 plus 73 over 8. And my calculator, 288 plus 73 is 361. So I get 361 over 8. And I'm pretty sure that could be a perfectly fine answer to bubble in, although I think that's too many numbers. So I'm going to turn this, I'm going to divide this and get a decimal. So 361 divided by 8 is equal to 45.125. But because we only have four spaces for our plug-in, I'm going to round it to 45.13. There is our answer.